recording. Uh, so welcome back, you guys. So please get your question ready. Have you started the review? Have you guys started the review? Today is <clears throat> June 7th and tomorrow your exam starts. Not, no, not yet. Oh, wow, well, you, you need to get started on reviewing for the final exam. And um, so, uh, so if you, so please grab, please get your question to me. Okay, please get your question to me. So get your question ready. And I'm setting up this scientific notebook so I can work with you. Um, well, if this one doesn't work, oh, it just, it seemed to take forever to, I have tried this before the class several times. And this scientific book seemed to be suddenly just, uh, you know, acting very strange. So just hold on a second. I'm going to kill some applications to see uh, if this will help. Okay. And uh, I'll get your question by all means. Okay, I'll, I'll get to those. Uh, I'll get to your questions. And uh, from... Um, Let's see, where is my Google Chrome? Well, all these uh, buttons seem to turn. There. Um, I don't need that Google Chrome. I'm gonna kill, I, I, I'm killing some applications. Wait, scientific notebook is not, uh, all right. Okay, so this, this is better. So what what I would do, I will I will go through the modules. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna share screen with you. So hopefully I can give you some uh, so I, I have two scientific notebook in running. So do this one. Okay, so do you guys see the, the module? Do you guys see the module, right? Mass 80, uh, this, is our, this is our homepage, right? Do you guys see the homepage? So I'm going to the module. So what I, I'm, I'm hoping to give you some, you know, helps on the, on the review. If you haven't started, then it's time to get started, okay? And tomorrow, your, your exam will be available, your, your final exam will be available, and then you have three attempts. And uh, so what, what I did over the weekend is that I arranged the topics by, uh, by weeks, okay? So there are a total of 16 weeks, and this, today's lecture will be recorded as well, well, is recorded right now. So what you, what you see is that you can flip these through these pages, right? So from the lecture, so you can click on this and then you can watch the recording. The title is not uh, to the details. So you have to uh, have patience to watch the lectures. And of course, each lecture is two hours long. And, but you, you have those lectures available to you. That's the one resource of your review. Start a quiz this week. Right. So, so you see this. Okay. This is uh, this is the end, and, and then you can go back okay. to the beginning. So you the can replay, and it, so this is I have uploaded to YouTube, so you can. Uh, but I didn't do the streaming. But you can always so you go. tomorrow, Professor Lopez comes to teach the class. Do you yeah. think that the truthfulness about? Okay, so that was the uh, that was the, the 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 you know the resources that's available to you. Okay, uh, hold on, let me just grab. So, scientific notebook has it been uploading nicely? Okay, we we we'll check back on that. Okay, 
So that's the that's the module where you can watch the you can watch all of these uh, you know past recordings and okay. And the other resources I I, uh, I I was telling you guys is to uh, to look at the the past quizzes, okay, the past quizzes, uh, except the last one, except the last one, the last one I will make it available the answers to you today, and you can go through the quizzes, which is a go by the week, right? The due dates, right? The due dates tell you the week, right? The due date tell you the week. So you can go by the quizzes one by one to review those questions and the correct answers are available to you. Uh, but these answers to the quizzes is only available until tonight. Until tonight. Okay, you won't see them. Uh, I'm sorry, right here. Okay, those are the past quizzes. Uh, you only see it you know, from last weekend until tonight. And then you will be able to review all of these quizzes. A lot of these questions from the quizzes will show up on your final exam, okay? I don't have a lot of secrets to hold, okay? I don't have like last minute, I certainly have like a spur of questions that you've never seen before. All the questions on the final exam are something you have seen or look familiar, okay? Things I teach in classes are things I expect you to know. So they're being quizzed over and over again on the midterm, on the final exam. So I would say review all of these quizzes and nowadays the correct answer is available. I'll compare with your answers so you can, you can see what I have done wrong and what's right, what's wrong. And then you can watch the, the videos in those, uh, during those weeks to understand why. And there's all these writings about quadratic because quadratic is a big chunk of our of our exercise of of our exercise. Okay, quadratic is a big chunk of our our exercises. So we spend a lot of time there. So as a result, you should expect to read a lot of questions related to quadratic. And those lectures are in those weeks, right? So you can see from the titles that you know x square quadratic. So watch those lectures, okay? Watch those lectures, so quizzes, and just be reminded, okay? These answers to your assignment, they're only available until tonight. Okay, let me double check, yes. June 7th, midnight, okay? So get to, the, get to those answers, okay, get to study them, okay? Because tomorrow the exam start, and you will not have available uh, these information, but you still have the lecture, the recording of the lectures available to you. All right, so be aware of that. So let me check my uh, meeting control. This is the assignment. It seems to take forever to upload. So let me close this. Let me kill this uh, application. It just seemed to be not responding. So the, and the, the buttons show up on the screen. Just look very, very strange. Just look very, very strange. But anyway, we're, we're gonna make it work. Okay, we'll make it work. All right, do you have any questions? Do you guys have any questions? Any area that you wish me to go through? If there are any specific areas that you wish me to say, hey, can you go over that another time, right? Okay. With that, Said and done. With that said and done, uh, you can you can stop me anytime. Let's see the chat question. No question right now. Wow, you guys are ready, huh? You guys are ready for the exam. Okay. Um, so these are the quizzes, and don't forget about midterm. Okay, you have midterm exam, and those answers are available to you. Okay, 
And once again, they're only available until tonight, until tonight. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. You know, midterm cover a lot of questions that was you know, on the, on the, during the quizzes, right? Up to midpoint of the semester. So, this, so they're all, you know, connected that way. Okay, so since, since, uh, you know, the, let me, let me bring up the, the notes, right? Throughout the semester, the notes is, is, is something we have referred to addressed to all the time. So today, let me bring uh, the notes back to your view on the screen and I will make some marks on this from the beginning to end, beginning to end, right? Last Wednesday, we had a review. We reviewed on this uh, quizzes, which is a, it's a guide, it's a guide. So now if you look, if you guys could look at the guide, you have the guide with you, don't you? So look at that guide that was sent to you. That should be in your inbox. Okay, it was also sent to your, uh, it was also sent to your uh, inbox and uh, your pronto. Okay, so these are the three, the two courses. Now, mathematical truths, right? Mathematical truths. Self-evident facts about numbers. So we had that covered, which is that we, we call it six mathematical principles, right? The first one, anything times one stay the same, anything at zero stay the same. If A is the same as B, then A plus C is the same as B plus C. If A is the same as B, then, so these principles, C cannot be zero, right? And uh, we use these principles throughout the semester. We use these principles throughout the semester. We also have two important concepts, functions and one-to-one -one functions, and then choose table. So these two pages for me is essential, is essential for the course of mathematics at all levels. Okay, at all levels. So this I call alpha one, okay. Alpha two, alpha two, we started with lots of word problems. We started with word problems and we did most of these exercises and you can, you can find them in those lectures and these will be on the exam. There's no alpha, beta two, but that's for your exercise alpha three. So in terms of word problems and mixture problems, you will see them, uh, you see the quizzes, right? So that's what we do, word problems, okay? And you can find those lectures, right? The lectures are, are here, okay? Week one and week two. Week one, week two. You guys got it? Week one, week two, you'll find those, uh, what we did with word problems. And word problems will be on the exam, on the final exam, okay? So back to our notes. Then we covered these six functions. We covered these six functions. We covered their domain range and intercept. We we talk about the concept of function, which is the definition of function repeated. And these are in your notes. All six functions, all six functions is much elaborated in these sections, okay? So you will have several pages, each function, each function takes one page and we examine if they're, uh, they're what kind of function this is, we graphed them and we examine if they're one-to-one -one functions and um, one by one, okay, one by one. And the last function we talk about was absolute value function. It's a very, very important function because afterwards we elaborate it on it. And then where do you find these materials? You find these materials in these sections in week, week three, Okay, you find those lectures about those six functions. Okay, alpha four, 
alpha four. And of course, there are more about absolute value. Okay. And the more about absolute value, we go back here. We go back here. We practice more. We explain the narratives about the absolute value of X and why it is so, and we exercise on these exercises. We remember that narrative, right? Do you guys still remember the, the narrative? What is the narrative for this, for this piece? What is the narrative for this piece? Absolutely critical narrative on this piece. Do you guys know the, know the narrative? Let me write it down, okay? The first branch, it says the absolute value of a non-negative number. is the same as the number. Okay, so let me make it longer. It's the same as the number. Okay. And the absolute value of a negative number, negative number is its opposite. Okay, we went through many examples to examine. So I hope you guys understand. If you don't, if you still have doubt, because sometimes we're in and out understanding and doubt. Okay, go watch the lectures and do some thinking and do some practicing. Okay, so exercises are there. Uh, so these narratives is gonna carry you along in all of your math classes, I promise you. I promise you. I was just did the review with my pre-calculus class, okay? We're still emphasizing much of this. And of course, there will be more contents to it, which we haven't, we didn't cover in this course, but this is the very foundation. If you're heading the STEM track, okay? For the absolute value issues, and this is something you're gonna deal with for a very, very long time. So you want to make sure you understand it completely, okay? So still on this topics, still on this topics, okay, still, uh, still on this topics. We keep going and we get to the if statement of the absolute value. You see, we get the if statement of the absolute value and what is more, we actually talked about the three types of equation, the three types of if statement. Okay, they're all if statement for sure. Okay, they're all if statement for sure. The rules are different, absolute value, root, uh, squares. All these three functions, right? We talk about in alpha four, right? In alpha four, right, what's alpha four? Alpha four are these six functions. Right, we address these six functions, six statements, six statements, right? And, and, and we pick out this guy. We pick out this guy, this guy, and that guy. And we made the if statement. We made the if statement, okay? So all three functions, we made that if statement. And where did we go? Right? We go all the way up, or all the way down, whatever you say, all the way here. The three types of equation. These three types of equations are absolutely tested in its various form, in its various, various form. If statements, okay, if the absolute value is three, if the root is three, if the a square of a, of a number is nine, right? So all these narratives we talk about, where do you find those recordings? You find those recordings here, okay? Where is it? So Three types of equations, three types of equations, 
okay? You, you see they're, they're transformed into uh, different kinds. And next is inequality, inequality, right? So they're together, they're together. So let's look at the notes. Inequalities, right? We have the equals, like the three types of equation, the three type of equations metamorphosized into, uh, morphed, you can say, morphed into uh, variations, right? That's all about the three types, the three types. Three types. Okay, the three types. Okay, the three times from alpha seven, eight, nine, and morph into alpha 11a. Okay, there, there are lots of similarities and we have addressed them all in those, in, 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 the, in the week of uh, number four, number four, okay? Right here, the lectures, okay, the lectures. Inequalities, so let's look at the inequalities. Okay, let's look at the inequalities. So where do you find solving inequalities? Okay. Go back to the lecture, the notes, right? Right here from 12A, right? And on, all the way up to 17, I believe. Alpha 17, no, alpha 16A, I'm sorry. Alpha 16A, by my, uh, so this is this piece is about solving absolute value inequalities. You guys see that? This is the lecture that related to that piece, related to that piece, right? We have three basic types and some special cases. Three basic types and some special cases. Okay. All right. So um, and we have summaries the following week. Yeah, you can see the first five weeks, right? It's right there. Summarize the absolute value. So you have these contents to watch run into basic uh, week five. So we spend these two, they say four hours lectures where we were working on these inequalities. Okay, so let's keep going, keep going. And then we enter quadratic. Quadratic is a big, big topic, okay? We started in week five, okay? We graphed all these functions, you know, flipping over x axes, wider, more narrow, shifting left and right, and that's alpha 17. And where do you find those lectures? And those lectures are found to be here, okay? And uh, over here. Okay, we did a lot of preparation because we needed we needed those preparations for making perfect square. So all of these from the second piece of week five. Okay, from the second piece of uh, week five. So let me make this make the font just a little smaller so you can see them all. Right. So from all of these here, right? From here, all the way here, all of these pieces is about quadratic. <clears throat> quadratic, quadratic. Okay, and you know there's a reading about everything quadratic on the top, right? So if you, if some of you like to read those, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the examples are being uh, in the writing and hear the recording, hear the recording about well, the transformation, you know, transformation means, you know, flipping, reflecting, shifting up and down, left and right. And then, then we talk about general uh, quadratic functions. Okay, that example out we call alpha 19, we spend lots of lots of time there. Vertical cut, horizontal cut, all of these, we did many examples. We did many examples. They're all here in those, in these lectures, okay, in these lectures. 
So let's look at what's in there in the notes, right? We do the shifting. So we, so we did all of these, right? All these is a shifting up and down, left and right, right? On these special cases. And then we focus on the general form. Then we focus on this general form. We focus on that general form, uh, which will give us the opportunity. Okay, uh, Alpha eighteen is preparing you. So re, we, re, you know, we, we review this piece again, which we did at the beginning, and the perfect squares, and then we dive into Alpha nineteen. Okay, those 22, uh, 26 questions, which covers every aspect about quadratic and re repeated answering the, we repeated covering these questions, okay? So regarding quadratic, we have the case of, you know, the curve open up, cross twice, right? Curve open up, cross twice, the curve open down, cross twice, right? The curve open down, cross twice, and the cross once, with x axis, right? Cross open down, cross it once with the x axis and cross no time, open up and cross no time, uh, open down. So we have all of these cases covered. And then we've done some exercise in this section. So quadratic is a huge category. It's a huge category that we covered. And of course, you have lots and lots of exercise that for you guys to finish. And later we condensed these questions into, instead of 26 questions, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 10 questions. We have 10 questions, okay? So that's a quadratic piece. Before the midterm, we covered up to alpha 32A, which is inequalities, inequalities, 32A right here. Okay, your 32A. So you, if you look at the solutions on your midterm exam, that should help. Okay. So all the way up, like from week number five, all the way to week number eight, that these lectures is addressing quadratic, quadratic, okay? Week nine, week nine, we continued on inequality. We continued on inequality with a quotient right, with a quotient. So this piece, right, week number nine. So that's after spring break, we came back. And uh, we look at alpha 32, right? So before the spring break, we did all these quadratic after 32, uh, after spring break, we did the quotient, right? So these questions are gonna be, you know, were covered uh, in, in, in our studies, in our studies. So, so now the inequality piece is complete. The inequality pieces is complete, right? So that's what, you know, you, and you do the, look at the quizzes and those quizzes all reflected what we covered in classes. Now, fast forward, power. We, we, we study the power. When did we study the power? Right, so alpha 33, alpha 34a, when did we study the power, right? Um, from week number nine, operation on exponents, operation on, on exponents, right? Um, so all these the different cases, operation on exponents, right? B to the power of zero, one B is not zero, B to, B to the power of M times B to the power of N and all those exercises, we have done that. And these are the exercises to cover those. Okay, so that's number nine, uh, week number nine. Okay, so move forward. So let's look at the uh, week number, uh, that's week number nine. Right, the power thing, and you guys, you know, get the exercise. Starting from week number 10. Okay, starting from week number 10. We done factoring. We done factoring. Right, so these sections, right, these sections from week number 10 
all the way up. So these two weeks, right? Factoring, factor and solve the equations. Factor and solve the equations. So these two weeks, right? Eight hours of lecture, eight hours lecture, various techniques to talk about and including review of completing a square. Right, we did a completing square in quadratic. So there's a lot of overlap. There are overlap but the, on, in, the, in the setting, right? So they're all, you can see they're all interconnected. They're all, all interconnected. So week 10 and week 11, okay? So on the, on the part of the like, uh, on the, uh, on the nodes, right? So after the power, after the power operation, right? So we had all these exercises and then we dive into factoring, okay? This, this, this involved FOIL, which is probably easy for most of you, and uh, factoring. So factoring runs from alpha 40, and we talk about that specific technique, and, uh, uh, but uh, all, any technique is welcome as long as it works, right? And we, we factor and we talk about factoring completely in case the technique doesn't work and we can still find the factors, right? We use a quadratic formula to identify the roots, right? So those techniques were addressed in these issues. And then of course, solving equations, which make zero, apply principle number five. So those, those are the situation. And, at, at the near the end of our factoring, we, we talk about how to factor, you know, the sum of two cubes or the difference of two cubes, right? And uh, and solve the equations. And uh, we have a, we have a talk about addressing these issues. So ultimately, the quadratic piece is complete in the sense that any quadratic function we can factor, we can. Um, you can find roots if there's an if statement. Okay, we have three ways, completing a square, factoring, and quadratic formula. Okay, so by this time, I think this, this course has covered completely everything about quadratic. Okay, and of course, you will be tested. You will be assessed. All right, so let's go back to our progress uh, for the weeks right here. And for week number 12, okay, for week number 12 to the end, okay, this, these three weeks, I would say three and a half weeks, it's about logarithm. It's about logarithm and exponential. Different aspects of exponential and logarithm. Graphing inverse function to each other, domain and range, solving equations involve exponential, uh, solving uh, equations involving logarithm. So these weeks, okay, we also cover some, uh, some pro properties of logarithm, which is the last, which, which was last week. Well, last week we only we only met once because of, because of Memorial Day weekend. So all of these about quadratic, uh, I'm sorry, about logarithm and exponential. It over it spans four weeks, and of course they're going to be on the final exam. Okay, so review those quizzes will be very very helpful for you. Will be very very helpful for you. Okay, so uh, after these summaries, and I will uh, if. I will still you know, be soliciting your questions, right? And I will, be, I will love to answer your questions, but if you don't have questions, I will be going over some quiz questions in the past, okay, in the past. And uh, the quiz la uh, last week, the quiz is an extra credit quiz, and we will go over that. Even though that's an extra credit for your credit wise is extra credit, but the content is not, extra credit it's not the content is not extra it's something you need to know does that make sense i hope that that helps okay uh so let's move forward okay
Okay, so look at our notes and look at the logarithm section, right? Look at the logarithm section. Starting from alpha 50A, 54A, we had all these exercises. We had all these exercises. You can look at your homework, right? We did the graph of all these functions pair by pair, right? We did all of these. 57 to find inverse, right? And that applying the properties and the solving exponential equations and 60A. And the last set of question you need to know is 61A. Okay. So just to give you some idea that this is included, well, it is pretty much in your homework. It's pretty much in your homework. Okay, which section will be covered on the exam, right? So let me take you guys to see, oh, if you ask me what section will be covered by the exam, your homework give you, give us the best, uh, give us the best of that uh, inclusion. If you have any doubt, you go to your homework, Okay, you know where to find the homework, right? So in the homework set, okay, the homework is assigned to you. All of these sections in the homework are going to be included in our comprehensive review and our final exam, our final exam. Okay, any questions so far? Any questions so far? Okay, so that's the overall of uh, this semester. So qu quiz number 26, it was due last night. That's of course for extra credit. I'm gonna make the, right now as you watch, I'm gonna make the answers available to you. Okay, so your answer and you, see, you will see the correct answer. Uh, and this is gonna be available till tonight. Okay, so now the answer is available to you. The answer is available to you until tonight. Okay, and so the, all these exercises. Okay, so let's see how we, how we pointed to uh, these uh, questions, right? I'm sorry, how, how do we, uh, we're gonna study, right? So you're gonna study from quiz number one Right, so you're really diving into those details of the work you've done. Okay, so suppose I put on preview. Uh, from your side, you can, you can check your answers and so on and so forth, right? So all of these, you can see all these questions is about, um, they're, they're about the, the six principles. Okay, these, these questions about the six principles. Okay, there are nine questions, there are six principles. Right, whether you understand or not, right? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Quiz number two is about truth table. Understanding a truth table and the or. You need to be very careful when you read those words, when you read those words, right? This, this second quiz is entirely about your understanding of truth table, right? You see everything we address, we have a quiz you. Everything we cover in class, we have a quiz you. Quiz number three. Oh, wait, sorry. I clicked the wrong button. Quiz number three. Okay, previews. On these, pre uh, on these quizzes, we, we, we basically addressed those lectures on the word problems in alpha two and alpha three, okay? Alpha two and alpha three, all right? So all of these questions is addressing those. Okay, so hold on. I, I, have, I have one little modification to make here. 
here. Okay. I think investment problems, and we all, it's alpha one was just basically is a truth table. Okay, so this is just alpha two. So that's a simple, so an investment problem, mixture problem, you just have two sets of, two sets of those. And assignment, uh, quiz number four, It's something you need to write it down. You need to write it down. Of course, the quiz will read it and return to you. So you, if you have any questions, and please don't hesitate to ask. You can still ask me questions uh, until the end of the day today. Okay, midnight today. Quiz number five. Right? Oh, why do I hit that again? I hit the wrong place. I should hit preview because I always edit, right? I always do edit. So I habitually I'm hitting the edit. Uh, the preview of this question you can see is about those six functions. Six functions, right? Six functions, domain range, uh, the, those six functions we just uh, we just addressed absolute value and so on and so forth, right? So there's really no surprises. There's no surprises. Okay, so alpha five is about that six functions. Okay, it's about that six functions. Uh, quiz number six. Preview. Right. It's about absolute value again, absolute value, absolute value. And addressing the three, it's the three types of equations, three types of equations, okay? Three types of equation. And is it gonna come more? Okay, so the next quiz, quiz number seven, will cover, you know, uh, do you guys want to take a look at this? Because as I'm doing this, it, it, it just doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't address some of those details. Uh, how about you guys take a look? Okay, I'm going to give you some time to look at your screen, to look at your screen on those quizzes. Okay, right, wrong. All right, I'm, go I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna stop talking for a few minutes and I'm gonna just uh, get a little bit of water for myself, okay? And I will be right. Sorry. Since you're here in class, please utilize your time in class to review, okay? Don't delay, don't wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow, all the answers are not available anymore, okay? All the answers are not available, including the midterm. The answers will not be available. So do it now, do it today, don't wait, don't wait until tomorrow, okay? I'm gonna take just a short break. I'm just gonna get something to drink. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I will be right back. Uh, so do you guys wanna go over some questions? It's really, really important for you guys to understand those lectures, okay? Because if you don't understand, it's very difficult for you to move on with the next class, okay? And the next class you have to do or do it all over again. So that will add the load. I don't know what the class you're gonna do next week, uh, next semester. It could be trigonometry or it could be college algebra. Uh, if you heading to the calculus track, do not skip trigonometry. Okay, you cannot possibly make it. If you, if you skip trigonometry, you cannot make it. You cannot make it. So be sure don't skip classes, okay? Even though you, I know you have choices, but if you want to save time, 
then you don't skip those crucial classes. You don't skip those crucial classes and assuming that you're going to, you're going to, you know, you're going to somehow get, get over, get by. And that doesn't happen. Okay. That doesn't happen in mathematics. Okay. It doesn't happen in mathematics. Very few people make it. And I don't know of any who make it by skipping those classes. Okay. The reason I'm saying this is because I have some students who took in my pre-calculus pre class. They, 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 they were, it looks like they never took trigonometry. Okay. So what happened is that they have to go back to take trigonometry because after their first attempt of pre-calculus, they realize they cannot make it. And then they go back to take, take trigonometry. Hopefully they do. And then they come back to take pre-cal again. And that's what you wasted a semester. You have wasted a semester. Okay. Do you, do you see what I mean? Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to make your time, if you want to make your time more efficient, you probably would talk to a professor, would talk to the, uh, some professors in the dean, in the department of mathematics, you know, or the counselor, sometime the counselor. And I would say I would not only talk to the counselor, I will also talk to someone in the Department of Mathematics. If you have if your classes has anything to do with math, okay, to guarantee you can you can have a proper efficient use of your time. Otherwise, you don't want to repeat certain class over and over again. For you, for example, if you have to repeat intermediate algebra. Most likely because your, your elementary algebra is not good enough. You understand what, what I'm saying? So the time of you repeating intermediate algebra, you, you're actually just making up for what you missed in elementary algebra. And the same thing is for a lot of other math classes, right? You say, oh, I'm, 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 I'm doing pre-calculus. I'm, I didn't make it, so I'm gonna do it again. In that process, you're doing it again, you're really just making up for the other classes like trigonometry, intermediate algebra, elementary algebra, you're making up for those. So you may just as well to take elementary algebra, intermediate algebra in that order and do well and make sure you do all you need to do well in those classes. Because in the end, if you keep repeating, you probably end up spending more time than needed, than necessary, right? So I would recommend in your future, for your future classes, and depending on which direction you go, you not only talk to a counselor, you also talk to someone in the math and science division. If your requirement, you know, require you to take math classes, Okay, I have to tell you, and I, 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 you know, maybe you already know this, that there's no shortcut in math. Very few shortcut in math. Okay, but, okay, you say, oh, math is so hard, math is so, well, yes, math is hard. But if you could just have the patience, okay, give yourself the gift of time, to study math well, the benefit in your career, if you choose a STEM career, will be tremendous, will be tremendous. Okay, so the reward will come in the years that follows. Okay, it, it's, just, it's called the delayed gratitude, delayed gratitude. Okay, and there's another saying about this, is that you reap what you sow, right? And I really like that because it's so true. It's so true, you reap what you sow. Okay, if you put a seed at the surface of the, of the, of the you know, whatever the field, where the, deep, the seeds should be deeper, well, your seed will be gone, will be picked by a bird. They're gonna eat it up, right? So you have to plant your seed deep enough so it will produce and, and you know, sow the fruit and you know, produce the fruits you want. 
right? There's no free lunch. There's no free lunch for sure. All right, so was that said and done? I I'm ready to take your questions. I'm ready to take your questions. So once again, all the lectures are going to be available throughout this week. But all the quizzes, the answers to the quizzes will not. They will be closed midnight tonight. And your final exam will be available to you tomorrow. Okay, so maybe I will set the time now. Right, I'm gonna set the time now. The final exam has two hours. You have three attempts. It's available. It's due Friday night. Okay, you can look at me, I'm setting this. Available from, initially I put it available on Tuesday. Do you wanna be on Tuesday or Wednesday? It's really up to you because I, I, I'm gonna make it available tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow too. So you have four days. So that's the plan. If you want to have one more day before the exam, well, I think oh, let's, let's just do it. Let's not change at this point. Okay, so tomorrow at 7 a.m. Okay, tomorrow at 7 a.m. It's due. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see the screen here? I'm setting this up. Do Friday night, do Friday night. Now it's available, now you can see. You can see from your side. You, you cannot see the exam until tomorrow morning, but you can, you can see when it start, when, does it, when, it, when, do, when it starts, when it do. Okay, so that's your final exam. That's your final exam. Okay, so now midterm available to you, final exams right there. Do not, uh, I don't know if you guys do remember, I, I talk about the grades, right? The grades is not gonna be, uh, don't rely on Canvas for your grade. Okay, but there will be adjustment and I, I address those issues, right? If you miss a quiz, that quiz should be set to zero, but I haven't done that. So that's gonna make you grades look a little bit more inflated as it should be, all right? So I will be doing a separate sec calculation for your grades. Okay, your question, please. Did I talk too much? Did I talk too much? Okay, so it's available tomorrow. You have all the way to Friday night. Don't wait, okay? You want to have your one, two, three times, one, two, three times efficiently used. Okay, I'm ready to take your question. I don't want to make, let, make you feel like I'm staring at you. So your question, well, it's 11.33. Do you wanna take a break or you think you don't need a break? Do you wanna take a break? 
I, as long as I have a tea, I have my tea and I don't need to take a break. How many questions? All right. You have to know that, right? I'm gonna let you know. How many questions? Sixty nine questions. There are 69 questions. There are 69 questions. We have total 20, 120 minutes. Three sittings. Okay, your computer doesn't work or internet connection doesn't work well, and you lost a sitting, there will be no makeup, okay? There will be no makeup for that sitting. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, you need to make sure your internet is very con is well connected when you're doing this exam, when you're doing the final exam. And, uh, <clears throat> Find the place. I don't know if there's a place in the library. I don't know if the library is available. I, 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 you need to investigate on that. Okay, I'm not telling you go to the library because I don't know. Okay, or I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So find the place. Your house, your uncle's house. Uh, you know whoever that will have that. Give yourself that, that two hours of stable connection on the right spot. Because once you start that exam and the sitting is counted, okay, you don't want to be um, bumped out of the system because of the internet connection, okay? So make sure you take care of that. That's, that's something you need to be responsible for. Any other questions? Any other questions, you guys? I'm here. I'm not going away.
I'm waiting for you guys to ask questions. Do you have any questions? Still no more, still no questions? Still no questions? Okay, so how about we uh, we take a break for 10 minutes? It looks like you guys are, well, you can still look at the things, okay? I'm gonna prepare something to review just in case you guys, um, okay, just for, for from my perspective, certain piece I, I, I will review with you, okay? And I will take you guys back to the lectures and so on, okay? So let's take a 10 minutes break as, as usual, and we'll come back, okay? And I will be talking about some stuff. I'll be talking about some stuff, okay? I will see you, um, Back at eleven fifty. Okay, and then we're going to be talking about some stuff. Okay, but still, I still want to get you, get to your question. I, I don't want your question to be overlooked. Okay, so see you in ten minutes. Come back. Um, do you have any questions? Still don't have any questions. Any questions? Still no questions. Okay. Does that mean you are fully prepared or is it, does it mean that you you haven't found your questions. Okay, so that's that's fine. We're going to go back to scientific notebook. I'm going to find the, the, the review that, what, where did this come from? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna to get to the scientific notebook piece and to see that if we can um, we can still use it. If we cannot use it, of course, no big deal. We can uh, use other software. Okay. It looks like I have two scientific notebooks, two scientific notebook opened. Today's, today's computers, my computer, okay, my computer seem to be really, really weird. Okay, so let me stop the share for a moment. Okay, so where's the other, because the program just doesn't respond to me. Strange. Internet connection. Mm. 
Okay, that doesn't seem to <clears throat> uh, make great changes. Yeah, the program doesn't respond, but that's no big deal. I'm, I'm still going to go back to our um, <clears throat> notes. Okay, between our notes and uh, and our um, Canvas Canvas software, right? There's one piece I wish to remind uh, re review with you. That's the quadratic because we we did that uh, some time ago, uh, before spring break, right? So I just want to make sure you guys have. Um, if you haven't read it. Maybe this is time. This will be, I think, will be more time efficient for you to or to or to read these materials. For example, did you guys see that? Because this material covers from week number five all the way up up to week number nine, uh, even longer. Okay, so let me tell you, this material addresses what. Okay, uh, if you look at the module. Right. If you look at the module from from week number five all the way to number eight, number nine, um, and then number ten, number eleven. Okay. So th this topic addressed so many things. Okay. Even though at the time we covered all these aspects, I wish to review with you, which is which is titled Everything Quadratic. Okay. So what you do is here that if you click on these materials, right? You can see we go by the steps that they summarize the quadratic in general, right? Um, did, you, did you guys read these? Some of you probably have, some of you probably have not. If you read it in the past, you might have forgotten. So these addresses all these things like such as open up, open down, and you can just click here. Okay, next you get to how to find. So this is our, this is really alpha. Uh, this is really alpha 19. This is really alpha 19. Okay, this is really alpha 19 what we did, okay. And the keep going, right? How to find the uh, per, make make perfect square? Example number one. Uh, example number one. This is uh, you know alpha maybe twenty twenty one something like that. So it goes over the steps about these uh, quadratic. Okay, so keep going. Right, these of course in writing, and you can watch the lectures to explain a lot of these things. And the other thing we address is that okay. All right, the other thing that this addresses will be the line of symmetry, right? And the how b squared minus four ac is being used. That's the three cases. The three cases about quadratic in terms of intersecting with x axes in terms of the usage of b squared minus four ac. Right. So the first case, right? The first case is alpha nineteen case. Right. So you can just go back to the pages. Right, go back to the pages and uh, to, to, to go back and forth to study, right? Case one, you see here, you guys see that? Quadratic, 
e squared minus 4ac is larger than zero. So we see these cases equal to zero, right? Equals to zero. e squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, right? The case number two. And case number three minus zero. So all these three cases summarizing from alpha, from alpha 30, uh, from alpha 19. Okay, so from alpha 19 through alpha, let me see, let me, I need to find that, find out that number. Okay, so let me move this page to the other screen. Here. I will give you a precise number on alpha. This is in everything quadratic, right? from alpha 19. So this is summarizes. Okay, from, I would say from alpha 17. Okay, it, it would include alpha 17. From alpha 17 all the way. to alpha to alpha 31 okay to alpha 31 and not only that okay from alpha 17 through alpha 31 and later, okay, in the sections of factoring, okay, in the sections of factoring, that's how inclusive that material is, okay, from alpha 39, even though we were talking about those techniques, but uh, quadratic, those contents also can apply to all the way alpha 40 through alpha 49. Okay, so that's how inclusive these material covers. And that summary, okay, I think it's pretty comprehensive for you to read through. And so you, under, you will understand every aspect about quadratic, every aspect about quadratic. So, okay, so you can just turn the pages and read about this, including, okay, that also include inequalities, okay? Including inequalities. Okay, so this P, the, these pieces, it, say it includes inequalities, right? With all of these uh, interpretation, interpretation and explanation, explanation, all right? So I hope that a guideline will help you to, uh, to know the importance of everything quadratic, everything quadratic, okay? Uh, because it, it also included, you know, so much contents in quadratic. Are you going to stop using quadratic after this course? And the answer is absolutely not. Okay, as I said earlier, this quadratic thing will permeate through your trigonometry class, pre-calculus class, the college algebra classes, uh, even calculus classes, 
okay, this quadratic thing, it just keeps coming back. Is, it, is this is one of those academic questions in the field of mathematics? It comes back to you very, very often in various forms, in various forms, okay? In various forms. So remember what I said. To, what I said today. It's on tape. It's on recording. Okay. There's a quadratic thing. Is a comeback to you over and over again in various form. So this is the perfect academic question. Not only in, per, uh, in academic. Okay. In, in real life applications, that there are quadratic being used in many ways, but. We, we understand everything about a, a quadratic. So that's why we study them. We study them, okay? Because we know the inside outside, okay? Um, take some other videos, for example, okay? Just, I, I'm just gonna help you to review with this, okay? Uh, Alpha 17. Okay, so this reviews about the transformation of a quadratic. Okay, I uploaded onto YouTube. So that's where we're gonna store some of these. Uh... Okay, so here, all the same. You guys see that? First of domain, they all have the same domain, all real numbers. Okay. Right. And next, let's look at the. Do you guys see the recording? Do you guys see the YouTube video? Okay. What is the green? Do you guys see the YouTube? Do you guys see that? The green is two times x squared. Hold on. Okay. We plotted the points and we, we saw what happens. I cannot see the chat answer. It becomes thinner compared to x squared. You see this, uh, you know, we address these uh, issues, right? So we address these, you guys see that? Do you guys see the YouTube project? Wait, I, I cannot see the, I cannot see your answer though. My screen is a little messed up. Yes, okay. You see these, uh, you know, that's, that's alpha 17. That's alpha 17, right? So you can, you can watch that. It's on uh, March 17th, right? So you can find those recordings. Okay, so if I go to the next, ah, YouTube refused to connect. Hold on. This is just my, my, my internet, okay? Don't worry about that. Alpha 17 right here. And this, this piece is talking about perfect square. Huh, can you guys click on that and to see if it's available to you? Okay, so I think that piece may have a, about perfect square. Maybe I need to do something about it. But the rule we started with, it's the same rule because we only- You see that? Right, that's the recording. That's the recording we had, right? Talking about the shifting transformation. This is the point. It must be revealed at the beginning. Right, do you guys see that? Do you guys see the view too? Any questions so far? Okay. And then. This is not, a, this is not my talking, okay? This is just uh, the recording. Square, right? And then we're gonna do X plus one square, right? And you, all these shiftings, right? You can you can see that those right those lectures are available. So the next step to you. We're gonna, we're gonna do the shifting, isn't it? 
shifting left and right. Well, I just all from the basics, all from the basics. So what'll be the shifting? All right. So um all right, but I, I need to fix that uh that link. I think there's something wrong with this link. There's something wrong with this link. Can you guys check from your side if this link worked for you? This one. The color doesn't show blue. That's all that's already become a little suspicious. I was thinking about it yesterday. I said, well, it could be anything wrong. But I, when I when I sit on it, it does show there's it's a link. Did you guys check for week six, number the first one link? That, that, that link for work for you. Did you check for me? Does that link for work for you? Did you guys check for me? Check this link. Let me see. I didn't hear any answer. Could you guys check on your canvas? Does this link work for you? Does it? Does it work for you? No, that link doesn't work for you. Could you check other links if the other links work for you? Is that no, Evan? Is that link doesn't work for you? Okay, so let me let me stop share. Okay, could you guys check the links in your Canvas page? Week number six, the first link. Okay, I'm redoing the link. Remove that. I don't know why it keeps that color. That color doesn't change. I don't know why. Let me click it again. Oh, it works. I don't know what's wrong with the, why the color. I see it. Okay, we got it. Did you guys check? It says YouTube is blocked. Oh, the other link works though, I deleted. Okay, try again.
you know what? If it doesn't work, you can always go to Techni, Techni, uh, Tech Connect Zoom. You guys follow me? If the new link doesn't work, you can always go back to Tech Connect Zoom. In Tech Connect Zoom, do you guys see what I'm clicking? You go to cloud recording, okay? So you have all these dates of the lecture, of the part of, of the lectures. Today's lecture will be loaded after, you know, some hours after recording, you know, after the class is over. So right now you should, you can see all of these things. The other one that was on, uh, say uh, it was on March 18th, you, you can still find it. Okay, March 18th, right here. No, it's not March 18th, I'm sorry. It's, it's uh, some dates. Week, week six, right? You can look up the dates, right? Uh, so all of these recordings are still available in Tech Connect Zoom right here. So I'm just giving you an alternative place to, for you to view, okay? So you can still find them otherwise. You guys follow me? Do you, do you follow me? Yes, no. Yes, okay, so you can you can find it at two different places, okay, two different places. So that's that's make it safe. That's let's make it safe. Okay. And the other source, the other venue, okay, I'm gonna try out for you just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. Suppose you go to YouTube. Well, um, let's see, my, my channel is not that famous, I guess. So what, I'm trying to see if I can get you to, or get, you can go find my channel directly. Okay, it was funny that, um, manage my YouTube account. Do you guys have any idea about how to do these things? I, um, you see what I do here, uh, my, my YouTube channel is, is LP. Okay, you can see this LPW. Let's see if we can. So if you guys look for LPW, do you find there's a little pig leg W? Okay, LP is my uh, first name initial. First name lock. Just search for LP. Did you find my, did you find those videos? Find our master videos. All right, so let's see. Okay, suppose I'm gonna 
because what I just did, how P W. Those are, but that's not, that's not how P W. Oh, there. It's not on the top, top of the search. Did you, did you guys see that? So you can also find those videos. Okay, just look for LPW, Little Piglet space W. Okay, LP was my, uh, my nickname when I was in graduate school. And the, one, of my one of my classmates gave me that name called Little Piglet. Okay, so LP slash W, but, but if you find, T I find something interesting. If I do LP, I found something just now, it was really interesting. Oh no, wait. So if you find my, if you go by my name, my full name, uh, this is this gets really interesting. There's even a funeral for me right here. Okay, so that's not me. So obviously you can see there, there are other people with the same name, the Kung Fu masters and stuff like that, right? So you have to, you have to do LP space W, then you can find me, you can find those maps. So there, there are three venues, so you can find those links, okay? So let me just send you the, the YouTube link, right? Where you can find all of that. Would that, do you think that might be a good idea? LPW, there, right? I uploaded uh, my, uh, because I, I didn't do anything elaborate about my channel. It's all connected to El Camino College, but just in case, just in case, okay? So you have to go through these videos. So I'm gonna send you that link, okay? I'm gonna send you that link. This is interesting because just now I found that there's an LPW with the same spelling of my name. She's dead or he's dead. It's a, it seemed like a popular name. It, it is a popular name. Okay, my last name, my first name, last name are popular name um, among the Chinese, among the Chinese YouTube links to my lectures in case. Okay, so I'm sending you this message. Please note the YouTube links to my lectures in case Canvas give you part time. Okay, but then you have to do some search. But I do have the titles there on those videos, on those videos. Do you think this might help? So I'm gonna send that to, to Pronto. So that's a YouTube link. Okay, I send them to my other class. I, sh I should do some more management for my uh, YouTube video, right? So that make it easier for you to search. You see these these videos. There are lots of them. They were, but it's mixed with 
you know, in intermediate algebra class and uh, pre-calculus class. And I, I would say I just loaded up them. You see, you can, you can see from what, it, you know, it's from the, the uh, you know, I, I didn't do anything fancy, just loading the lectures. Okay, maybe I should have different channels, right? I should have different channels, a customized channel. Do you think I can do something to have customized the channel? Make it a fancy name, right? And I, I don't like fancy names, really. Okay, so let me see if I can. They're all here. You know what? I'm not going to do it today. Okay, I will still reserve the time for you. I, I, I need to some. I need to do some learning to. Um, No, this is too much homework for me to do it now. I, I, will, I will do the homework another time, okay? So just for now, you guys can find LP, Little Piglet Space W. You can find my video and you have the link and that's, I think that's good enough. Uh, for future, for future, and uh, I will, you know, I work on it and I have a summer to work on it, okay? So let's go back to that, to back to our studies. Let's go back to our studies. Okay. If you have any issues, okay, so now you have three venues, right? To find those lectures. If you have any issues, feel free to let me know. Okay, so I'm still returning to the like the notes page, the notes page. Anything that in the that's in the notes, but I did not assign you as homework, and you can ignore them for now. You can ignore them for now. However, I do want to let you know that in the future, right? I you I'm sure, I I, mean, I assume that most of you will continue the study of mathematics as part of your requirement. Right, because you most of you are STEM major. A lot of these exercises, I put it in the notes. They are they will be beneficial for you, right? You see, you don't have to buy a textbook, and you can practice these exercises and study these, and just pick up any textbook. Pick up any textbook, okay? And you can use that textbook in conjunction with my notes, and you can practice any textbook. I mean that you don't have to buy the most uh, expensive and uh, latest version of it. You can just pick up a free book. Okay, these days I think if you if you look carefully, you probably could find some free book. The, a free book in mathematics is just as good as a new one. Okay, because the contents matters, and all you have to do, whether it's new or old, if you don't spend time to study to read about it, it it's it, it's just difference between you know. You buy something expensive or buy something inexpensive, but the usage is the same, right? So all of these exercises, we have about nearly 100 pages of exercise, and I hope will serve you uh, somehow, somewhere uh, in, your, in your future courses, okay? If you, take, if you still take my classes, right? So in the future, if you take my, say one day I meet you in my pre-calculus class, and you will find that some of these exercises are familiar, okay? Because I recycle some of these exercises in this course into my other courses, in, into my pre-calculus classes, right? And you still review those materials and you will still find it tremendously helpful. And of course, you'll be reviewing those materials, okay? And you have this electronic form of the of the you know the notes. Uh, I I hope that will be beneficial for you. So my my initial intention is to have all the I have a collections of exercise to to uh, to complement my lecture without having the students spend too much money on textbook. Okay. 
And but if you if you use these material on your own, I would recommend you have a textbook. You have a textbook. Okay, it doesn't have to be the textbook. It doesn't have to be the latest version. It doesn't have to be the expensive one. Just uh, you know, even you your grandfather's took algebra classes before, and he has a textbook in the garage. Use that one. Use that one. I, I assure you, it's going to work. Okay, mass is the subject that a truth will never change in the past 1,000 years and in the next, you know, a million years, it's not going to change. It's not going to change. Okay, anyway. Is there anything else you want me to address? Are there any topics that you wish me to say go over in the little details? Oh, the last quiz. You know what? I'm thinking of going over the last quiz with you, right? The last quiz of this course. Twenty-six, right? Even though the contents is not extra, how did you guys do? What did you guys do? Do you have any questions on these? These are the materials as related to what we covered most recently on alpha, no questions? You're good, you did well. You did well on these quizzes. You got, you got those extra credit. This extra credit quiz, the, if you, get, you did, did really well, it's not gonna be reflected on your Canvas. Okay, I want you to know that, I'm sorry. Okay, Canvas doesn't take care of extra credit. As I say, it's extra credit, okay? After all of you grades are done, I will have to do a special, uh, you know, calculation for you because you have 20, total 26 quizzes, right? But the 26 is an extra credit. So when I calculate the average, okay, so let me explain to you. When I calculate the average of quiz score, average quiz score, it would equal to the total of quiz divided by, normally you would divide by 26. Right, the denominator is 26. But as extra credit for the number 26, I'm gonna divide by 25. I'm gonna divide by 25. So your denominator is smaller, and so your average score will be higher. Make sense? So that's how the extra credit is counted for. But this formula, Canvas doesn't do it for us. Okay, it doesn't do it for us. I have to do it myself. I have to do it after you're done with the final exam. So that's just, um, so you inter if, you, if you keep looking on your, your grade book and, it, and it's not accurate, it's not accurate. I couldn't emphasize that enough because in the past a student come back and say, oh, I have uh, Canvas grade tell me I got 80%. How come I, uh, I got a C? Right, I have students come back to say that. Well, I have to explain. I say, you see, you missed the five quizzes. These five quizzes, if I set them to zero, then you will get a C. You, your eighty percent is is inflated. Okay, uh, this is the this is the the, the this is the the canvas grade calculation. So if if I don't, if a student missed a quiz and I if that quiz is not set manually to zero, that student is still, that, that the grade at that spot may not be zero. Okay, I think the system just put some random number there. As a result, your average score may appear higher than it actually is. You guys get it? So everything will be calculated, recalculated, 
by me following the formula given in the syllabus, given in the syllabus. Okay, there are two formula in the syllabus. Okay, so let me show you. Two formula in the syllabus, formula one and formula two. So I will be using these formula to calculate your grades, your midterm and your final exam combined. The higher score will be your final course grade. Okay, I hope that's clear. I hope that's clear. Right, so let's go back to this piece, right? So this is the alpha, the quadratic thing we talk about, right? From alpha 19, right? In this question, we addressed uh, intercepts, vertical cut, horizontal cut, inequalities. Above x, uh, above x axis, below x axis. That's what they all. That's what you know. They're all about, and the variations, variations. So your quadratic function may give may be given in different form, but you can all be converting to them. You, we can convert them, you know, into this form, making zero. Remember that making zero uh, technique making zero, making product quotient, it's all in there, it's all in there. Okay, so all these ideas, all these ideas. And all pointed to why we do certain things, it points the reason, point the reason to six principles. Okay, the mathematical principle. So let, let me go back to the six principles and, and uh, address the issues from there as uh, once again. Okay, so what are the techniques we have used to use these principles, right? What are the techniques we used, right? For example, the first one, finding common denominators and so on and so forth, right? Radical, take care of radicals, rationalizing, right? So we use these principles, so let me, uh, give you a little uh, a review from the other perspective, right? From the other perspective, like that. You guys see that screen well? Okay, so we look at these principles. Make it smaller. Do you guys see that? Because I want to give you a good summary of this as these principles applied, right? For example, the first principle, right? The first principle, when is it used? To reduce, right? Reduce the fractions. And what else? Finding common denominators. Denominator, right? Common denominator, right? That's, we get to use this principle, the first one. The second principle, we get to use it when? Completing a square. Completing a square, remember we add a zero. Right, we add a zero, right? We add a zero. We make those zero in different completing squared. We use that technique, right? And, and these two principles we use a lot, right? So these two principles we use a lot. When we solve the equations, we solve inequalities, right? So we use solve, solve if statement, solve equations, if statement. Right, so these two principles, these two principles, right? Make sure when you multiply, divide, you don't multiply, divide by zero. And this principle, number five, 
We use to solve equations. After product. Okay, products. After, let me put it that way. Put it this here, right? Solve this one is used for solve equations after factored. Right? After factored. Right. So you have one side is one side is a factored form, the other side is zero. Right. So typically when you use this product, when you use this property, property number five, you would um, do what? You will make zero and then make product. Make product means factor, right? Make product means factor, right? The last principle, number six. Ah, same idea, no change. Same idea, right? same idea with the inequalities. So greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, what, you, what do we do? We make a zero, right? Then make, make product or quotient. Quotients. You see, in the ideas, if you look at these six principles, you think about all we, we have done, all the things we have done, right? These six principles are used all the time, all the time, nonstop. Okay? Only in the inequality case, when we multiply by positive, we don't switch direction. When we multiply by negative, we switch direction. So, okay, so we are, everybody understood that. Now we have explained why, right? So you, from the perspective of these six principles, everything we do in this semester, they are aligned with the six principles. We can use them to crack problems, questions. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Is that, is that interesting? I hope that's a more, you know, you have better view about what we're doing here, why we're doing this, right? Why we're doing this? Why do we do factoring? Oh, we do factoring because we get to use principle number six, principle number five, right? Why do we make zero? Right? All oh, these reasons. We won't be fun because we want to make perfect square. We want to make perfect square, excuse me. Right? Well, we multiply by one because we want to uh, make a common denominator or reduce the fractions and so on and so forth. You guys see that? So all these reasons. Why? And then it's a matter of how. We have the we have the why, we have the how. And of course, we learn the why, we learn the how. Okay, the last piece of this lecture, of this semester, we did a logarithm, but we did not complete it. We did not complete it because there's so much other materials that need to be covered, but it's beyond this time that we can, we don't have enough time to cover. For those of you in STEM, you will continue that journey on logarithm and exponential. But we have a very thorough co coverage of the common mistakes in logarithm. They will be on the exam. They will be on the final exam, guys, you guys. Okay, the common mistakes of logarithm. Okay, did you guys write it down? Okay, the common mistakes of logarithm will be on your exam. Okay, so let's go over to the logarithm section. 
okay? Logarithm section only up to here. We, we, we studied only up to here, 61A. Okay, solving equations. I'm sorry, not, not solving equations, simplify expressions, applying product rule, quotient rule, okay? Just be reminded, make sure you go back to watch those lectures. Those lectures are actually just last week, last week. Okay, if you have any issue on any lecture, any, any recordings you cannot view, send me a message immediately and I will send you the link, okay? These lectures will be available um, throughout, okay? Um, maybe until, you know, you have these three venues. You have these three venues, right? What are the three venues? Canvas, uh, Tech Connect, and the other venue is Module. The third venue is YouTube, okay, with my link, with my link, okay? I'm gonna come up with some better links, so maybe some, you know, more, you know, easier names to find, all right? So with this said and done, speaking about the, the exam tomorrow, okay, there are common mistakes Common mistakes related to how about these how about these these two principles, not even the third one. The third one, there's uh, there are mistakes, but we didn't address it. We did not address it. But these, the first two, there are lots of lots of mistakes. We have addressed them with different bases and so on and so forth, and those will be on the exam. Those will be on the exam. Okay, so don't. Uh, forget everything we covered this semester. They will be addressed somewhere here and there. So watching the lectures, I cannot emphasize enough to watch the lectures. Okay, so tomorrow, the answers to the quizzes will no longer be available. The answers to midterm will no longer be available. The recordings are still available. So if you have any issues about recording not available to you, let me know, okay? I will send you the link, I will send you the link, okay? Because I have three venues for those, uh, uh, for those to assess those videos, okay? So common mistakes about these, okay? It's on video, it's on recording. Our recording. Okay, so now to summarize, let me write it down. Three ways to assess recording. Okay, three ways to assess recording. Okay, I like to type it. Uh, one way is in module, well, one way is a tech connect. ECT Zoom in Canvas. Number two, number two, module, modules by the weeks. Three, YouTube channel. You look for LP space W. Okay, so uh, uh, just double it. Okay, so you should be able to find those channels. You should be able to find channel, find those channels. Okay, they will have those recording. You have to go through them. Uh, I will. I didn't. I don't think I streamed it. I didn't know how to stream. I, I will learn it. Okay, but you should be able to find them by dates. Okay, find them by dates, the weeks and dates and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. Any more questions? No questions. 
All right. So I hope you guys really get started on review if you haven't started, uh, you know, earlier. Let's see. Just in case I forget anything, I'm going to scroll back up. Just in case we missed anything here. Right, all these logarithm sections, factoring solving equation sections. Exponents sections coming up, right? These exercises, remember we did, right? 37A, right? How to do those. And the, the exponents, right? The exponents sections, solving inequalities, especially this section. This section, even though it's not very long, this section, Huge, very important, and you'll be you you are going to be tested, and of course you you've been tested everything. But this section, even though it looks short, it has a lot of material. There's a lot of material there. Okay, and I keep going back up. Everything quadratic, right? Big trunk. That's a quadratic section. It's a very big trunk. That's a quadratic, right? Uh, we have three types according to b squared minus 4ac. There's a summary in module. Perfect square and making perfect square, right? And the basics case in quadratic. And absolute value, function, inequality, equation. Three types of in, uh, three three types of equations. The three types of equations, the basic types are alpha seven eight nine, alpha seven eight nine. The three basic types blossomed into eleven a. Okay, now three basic types. Okay, three basic types. Okay blossomed, blossomed into this guy, three types, three types. All right, do you guys see that, that connection, right? And the inequalities and so on and so forth. And last but not least, The six basic principles, the six basic functions, six basic functions. Okay, the six basic functions. Okay, the last the last three is we have, you know, we emphasize about their graph and so on and so forth. And war problems, alpha two, alpha three, and back to the top, foundation. Okay, six principles, two definitions, truth tables. Okay, and that summarized the entire semester that we, we, what we've gone through. What I hope that what we have done here, okay, that certainly is in my agenda, will also lay the foundation for your future classes. Okay, you will see the six principles will continue to be with you continue to be used throughout all of your courses in mathematics. The two types of sentences I have been addressing, okay, even they, they may be called a different name, the expression, equation, so on and so forth. They will continue to be with you. Okay, so we hope we have laid a very good foundation for you all, okay? And last but not least, and, um, 
I think we had a great semester. Even some, even though some people didn't don't come to the live lecture, they do watch the recording and they participate in the assessment. Okay, and uh, for those of you who are part participating in the classes this way or that, and I wish to thank you for attending my classes and uh, make uh, my teaching more interesting. And uh, you also give me ideas about what to do for my future classes if I teach the same course again. And um, I, if some of you are taking summer classes, if you're taking summer math classes, and if you have any question, you can reach out to me and I'll be happy to help. I personally don't teach the summer school, and but all of my former students, Okay, if you have any question, you can reach out to me anytime. Um, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. And of course, you have my email. And uh, yeah, just do that. And, uh, you know, once we know each other, and uh, I will be always happy to answer any questions of your, uh, your mathematics. It has been a delight, it has been a pleasure, it has been a privilege to teach you, I mean, to share with you, it really is sharing with you, okay? I, I don't think in the end is you're teaching yourself, you're, you're actually teaching yourself. I'm just giving you some, some of my, uh, my personal experience about understanding the material, okay? So the person who ultimately teaching you is yourself. Okay, and I'm just here to help and I'm happy to be helpful. And I will be looking out for your names next semester I teach. And maybe I will see one of you or, you know, you never know. Okay, but if you don't take my class, that again, that's not a problem. I'm sure you're gonna find a teacher you like. And I wish you the best of luck. And I hopefully we will be returning to the, you know, the, the on-site classes uh, very soon. And I, I certainly wish you the best of luck in your academia career and your future uh, career. And have a very good life. Okay, enjoy yourself. And with that, and with much gratitude, and uh, this is our last lecture. Okay, last class. There will be no class on Wednesday and you will be working on your final exam, okay? And uh, I, I will, you know, I guess we're gonna say goodbye to each other. Goodbye, with the best of luck to you all. Thank you for attending my classes. Bye guys. Thank you.